Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Score Center. As usual, I will be doing my AFL tips, we'll be checking out the eBay top 10 for Aussie and international cards, including some awesome Australian soccer history. I can't wait to share that with you. We will also be opening the AFL highlights and three weeks worth of NRL player and focus cards. They finally arrived in a whole avalanche of cards. We will be getting up to date with the hits of the week on the channel, as well as, of course, cracking open some packs. So let's jump into it. Okay, before we jump into round seven tipping, let's take a look back at how we did last round. And for round six, we got six points. I can't get out of that five to six point range. Hmm, let's have a look. We got St Kilda, right? There you go, that's something. We are one point off, one point off Bulldogs. The Adelaide Crows snaring the win there at Mars. Uh, Port Adelaide were completely unbothered by West Coast there. Oh, I took a punt on the Blues over Frio and it didn't pay off. Uh, Geelong over North. We had Brisbane over the Suns. Uh, Melbourne over Richmond. And oh, oh, I went for the Hawks against the Swans. And if the game ended at three quarter time, that would have been a correct tip. But then the Swans just went Phew! in the final quarter and just absolutely uh, flew off into space. I mean, the Crows and the Bulldogs were playing at Mars, but Sydney just absolutely blew it up out of the galaxy in that final quarter. So, eh, that was a bit disappointing for my tip. But then Monday Arvo, Anzac Day footy, one of my favorite games of the year. And we got it done. That was awesome. So great to watch. Kind of don't have any fingertips left. Tips? Yeah. Fingernails? It was, it was, uh, yeah. It was an exciting one. Exciting one there, but we did get that win. Then ch -ch -ch, round seven coming up. Tomorrow, Friday, it's Friday. Uh, Richmond, West Coast. We'll go for Richmond by how many points? Ooh, ch -ch -ch. do we want to say a 23? We'll say 23 points. Uh, Geelong Frio, down at Geelong. I was in Geelong on the weekend. Lovely spot, but there was no footy cards. I couldn't get footy cards. I, uh, well, I, I couldn't get team coach, I couldn't get footy stars. I did get some NRL cards, which will be opening up on Sunday. Uh, but no AFL cards I could get. We'll go for Geelong. Adelaide, GWS, we'll go for Adelaide. Yes. Melbourne, Hawks. Uh, we'll go for Melbourne. These games are deceptive. They're, they're sort of looking deceptively simple to tip. Uh, St Kilda over Port. Carlton over Ruse. Collingwood over GW, uh, GCS. Gold Coast. Uh, Bulldogs Essendon. I. Essendon is very much not receiving any love here. But. Ooh. Do we want to make that our one upset? Oh, and then the Swans Brisbane. I've tipped against the Swans in the last two rounds. Not because I have anything against the Swans. Mainly it's just because the, the teams that they were playing, that was the, where they were playing was the main thing. Um, like if the Hawks were playing Sydney anywhere else other than Tasmania, I would have gone for the Swans. Uh, but we have to go for the Swans at home. And if my luck is anything like it's been before, then Brisbane's going to win that game. So but there you go. I've gone for the Swans. I'm very tempted to go for acid in here. I, I've lost confidence in the Bulldogs. 
And the acid and that we played on Anzac Day were, I think they can beat the Bulldogs. Let's go for acid and let's go for the Bombers. So that's our tips for round seven. We've got the Tigers, we've got the Cats, the Crows, the Dees, the Saints, the Blues, the Pies, the Bombers, and the Swans. Let's kick our eBay top 10 highest selling Aussie sports card list off with number 10 for 750. We've got Christian Petrarca, the gold card craft from this year's team coach. These look so, so good. Not lucky enough to pick up one of these yet. They are super, super rare. But yeah, they look absolutely sick. Then in equal ninth spot, we actually have three cards that sold for 800. So in our first equal ninth, we've got the Nat 5 Gold Headliners from last year's Optimum. Uh, the seller didn't have the back of the card, but off the top of my memory, it was number 23 of 25. Then we have the Chuck Miller Gold Coast Superstar Signature Patch, selling also for 800. We love the logos on those. And then we also had for 800, Archie Perkins, the Platinum Draft Pick Signature. I absolutely love the design of these. We were not lucky enough ourselves to get a Platinum. We did get a few Golds and Coppers, but the Archie Perkins Platinum from last year's Optimum selling for $800. That was number 10 of just 40 of those. Then in sixth spot for $910, we go all the way back to 1973 and Lee Matthews, his Scanlon's card from that year. And I believe this is the first Lee Matthews card that existed. Then in fifth spot for 1000 from again from Select Optimum. We've got a few Optimum cards this week. Uh, we have the Mirror Jewel Signature card, the Redemption. Uh, but we've got Michael Roach and Jack Rewalt. Of course, Roachy had the number eight Guernsey back in the day. And of course, Jackie Boy has got that now. So the Mirror cards were two players, one from the past, one from the present, who share a jumper number. And those, of course, Jewel Signatures have uh, once they get redeemed, we'll come back with both autos, those two legends. That was number 27 of 50. Then in fourth spot for $1,545, we've got Dusty's draft pick signature from all the way back in 2010, Selects Prestige. This was graded by HGA a 9.5. And that was number 125 of 400. And then Dusty again, not quite 400 this time. We've got 60 of them and someone sold it for $1,722. And then why not have another one? This one for 1,750 going up in numbers, number 22 of 60 for the Dusty Virtuoso Sig. Then in first spot, we have a really fascinating lot with a complete set of 1978 Phillips Soccer League cards from Scanlon's. This set, full complete set, sold for $2,680. Now, I don't think I've ever seen these before. And I loved going through the different teams they had back in the late 70s. We've got Adelaide City. Brisbane City, we've also got the Brisbane Lions, Canberra City, Fitzroy, Footscray, so there's definitely a lot of overlap with some of the VFL teams. We've got Eastern Suburbs, Marconi, Newcastle United, Newcastle United I should say, South Melbourne, St George, we've got Sydney Olympic, Western Suburbs, and finally, West Adelaide. So there's two Adelaide teams. And at the bottom of the screen, you've got the competition card where it says, complete in not more than 10 words, I enjoy the Phillips Soccer League competition because, hmm, interesting. 
And of course, like the other Scanlans of that period, you uh, have the picture on the back of the cards that makes a big picture and you've got the team photo of the Socceroos from that period. Absolutely incredible fashion, incredible hairstyles going on. And then the, a bunch of other cards from the set make this really, really sick action shot. And the seller of the cards left a backstory about the cards, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. And I really wanted to share that with all of you. So I've popped it here. We'll read it together like story time. I am selling trading cards that I collected as a kid in Australia and recently stumbled across after about 43 years. All cards were either purchased as part of a bubblegum pack by me, or I traded duplicates with schoolmates to build up the complete set. All cards are the original printed versions that were available for purchase at corner shops around Newcastle at the time of release in the late 70s. They have sat untouched in a small wooden suitcase, forgotten for decades in a wardrobe. Please note that at age eight, I thought it was wise to mark off each player as I collected their card. Unlike the New South Wales Rugby League at the time, Newcastle had a soccer team, and I remember going to all of the home games to see Newcastle United, or KB United as they were known at the time. Home games were at the International Sports Centre, the ground now known as Marathon Stadium. At the time, it was all hill, except for a single stand that backed on to the entry car park. KB was a Tooth's beer brand that sponsored the team. Locally, kids like us used to call it Kids Beer. I traded a lot of cards at the home games that year, also at school, at soccer training, and soccer matches on weekends. And you can see where he's gone and crossed off on those checklist cards all of the players that he's got. And of course, everyone will be crossed off because he's got the whole set. I absolutely love that. I love the story of that. So that was such an awesome find. Now on to the top 10 international cards. Of course, these have all been sold through eBay Australia, but they are the international sports and coming in in 10th spot for 2,214. We have Brandon Ingram's Lakers rookie patch auto from 1617 Immaculate. And I know I say this every week, but I cannot get enough of those basketball jersey patches. I just think they look absolutely sick. Then in ninth spot for 2,500, we've got a Jordan Career Highlights card from 1986, and it's been graded a Beckett 9. In eighth spot for 3,000, we have a Jamie Vardy Leicester City Extravagance Auto Patch numbered 1 of 10 from 1920s Impeccable. That just looks so cool. And that apparently is a game worn patch from his kit. In seventh spot for $3,092, we have a LeBron James Purple Prism from 2021's Prism. That is such a sick looking card. That looks so, so cool. Uh, that is a PSA 9. Then in sixth spot for $3,200, Anthony Edwards Blue Auto from Donruss Optic. Anthony, you could have centered your auto a little bit more, but still very cool looking card. Then in fifth spot for 4,057, we have a Shea Gilgeous Alexander Los Angeles Clippers patch auto from 1819 Flawless. That is a Beckett 9 and yeah, very, very cool. In fourth spot for $5,150, we have an Erling Haaland Borussia Dortmund Black Color Blast from 2020, 21 Obsidian. That looks sick. I've never seen a black color blast before, but it makes sense if it's from Obsidian. They look really, really cool. That is a PSA 10 for that phenomenal player. In third spot for $7,606, we have a Luca Red Auto from 1819 Panini Contenders Optic to PSA 9. In second spot for 8,250, we have a Giannis Patch Auto, number 10 of 10 
from 1819's Flawless. And in first spot this week for a cool 10 grand, we have Jordan Poole's Golden State One of One Auto from 1920s Origins with the Warriors inscription. The Origin cards look so cool. I love that. And I love to see when they sign with the gold or the silver pens. That looks very, very sick. Okay, time now to open up this week's highlight. Oh, what color pouch? I think it will be light blue. Let's see. Oh, no, we have black, jet black. Ooh, holy dooly. Okay, well, that's about as opposite as you can get from light blue. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't even remember who these are gonna be. like the back of cards. There we go. Oh, kind of in a bit of a, the top loader is a bit big for them. But we have Josh Rochelle for the Adelaide Crows, who was the Nab Rising Star in round four. And we have, I'm not really sure I want to remember this. Yeah, if I, if I take my pies hat off, it was a, a huge game for Willie. Great to see him back uh, for him. Maybe not against the Pies. Uh, he could have done that against another team. But yeah, three goals, 10, cont con ten contested possessions. Uh, for Willie, let's have a look at Rochelle. Let's see what number I've got for him. How many people bought his card from this young gun? We've got 330 cards bought. We've got number 262. So quite a high number there. 330 for Josh and Willie. Willie Wonty. Let's see what number I've got for Rioli. We have, we've got 218 purchased. So the crows come out on top in the Battle of the Birds. 113 for Willie there. So there, our AFL highlights for this week. Well, after a few weeks of the player and focus going very quiet, uh, three parcels ended up on my doorstep. So this week we have three NRL player and focus cards to crack on open. So let's see who our first cab off the rank is. Oh, Paps, awesome. So this is the round four when the storm beat the Bulldogs by 44 points, 44 to nil at Amy Park. Oh, these look so sick. And of course, for a Storm supporter like myself, uh, extra, extra special. Oh, the gold, the gold borders and the gold text look so, so cool. Well, absolutely loving the player and focus cards this year. Let's turn it around, see what we've got. I've got number 26. Number 26 of 123 for the Paps. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so that's our first. This is gonna be round three or round five, because we've got one and two. Uh, let's say this will be round three. I can get it out. Uh, it's around the wrong way. Oh, I was wrong. It was number five. Round five, Joseph Manu for the Roosters. Uh, Roosters defeating the Broncos by four points. And let's see what number I've got. I've got 51 of 87. Uh, Manu scoring two tries, helping the Roosters beat the Broncos there. And so this will be our round three. I will not highlight player in focus. Back around the wrong way. Yep. There we go. I've got Jeremiah Nani. Cowboys 38 defeating the Broncos 12. Let's turn this around. We've got 43 of 82. So no super low numbers. But yes. So let's have a look. So it was the storm uh, coming out on top with 123 cards purchased and 26 was our lowest number and it was quite neck and neck between the Roosters and the Cowboys but the Roosters came out just on top at 87 the Cowboys 82 purchased cards 
and of course the uh, the Anzac Day medalist in the uh, huge win for the Storm against the Warriors on Anzac Day. Uh, but yeah, perhaps was well, didn't get the player in focus uh, for last round, but that's okay because we've got our round four as well as our three and five. They finally turned up. Time now for hits of the week, and we had a quieter week on the channel compared to last week, but that's okay, ebbs and flows and all of that. Last week on Score Center from our two packs of footy stars, we did pick up a Ned McHenry Daylight Numbers. Absolutely love the look of these. That was number 147 of 190. And then from our trip to the card vending machine, uh, we did get from one of our three packs of Jumbo, we did get a Ben Keys Adelaide blank canvas number nine of 250. Now, I did pick up a couple of box hits off camera, very annoyingly. I know I really should stop opening up stuff off camera, but the pack opening bug just got me. I thought, well, I'm not gonna get anything crazy. So not that long ago, I pulled two Ollie Wine Star Wilds back to back. And then on last week's Saturday morning team coach, we got two Connor Rosie card crafts back to back. Now, obviously I haven't filmed this coming Saturday's Team Coach video yet, so I don't know if we do something like that again. And even if I had, I wouldn't say, because obviously you need to wait until Saturday morning. But I've kind of done something similar off camera, because I kind of got excited. I opened up a pack of Jumbo, and we got a Jacob Hopper Giant Fractured Ass Yellow, which, interestingly enough, we did, of course, get the Jack McRae number one. We kind of went and did the opposite with Jacob and we pulled the 145 of 145. So that's the last cab off the rank for that. Now, I opened one pack of Jumbo and got the Jacob Hopper Giants Yellow. I then opened up literally a pack of footy stars and this came out of it. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's amazing. And then I was like, oh no, I should have filmed that because that would have been fantastic to have on film. But yeah, back to back Jacob Hoppers, crazy. Crazy, that was number 133 of 190. Yeah, that's what's been going off camera. That's what happened on camera. But let's now crack some packs and see what we can find. As usual, we have our cracker packs with two packs of team coach, two packs of NRL traders, and two packs of footy stars to represent the regular cards that we open up on the channel. Let's kick off with the team coach and uh, yeah, see what we can find. We have not got, what have we not? We haven't got any of the trophy wilds, which would be awesome. We've got Jake Stringer. We did pick up his game breakers in those vending machine packs. Got Tom Jonas and it's a card craft. It's a St. Kilda card craft. It's a silver. It's Jack Billings, number two. Very nice. I don't think we have any of Jack Billings cards. That's always nice. Jake Stringer again. Uh, I was going to say something. Uh, we haven't got, yeah, any. Trophy Wilds, we haven't got any of the Neon Star Powers that look absolutely sick. And I don't think we'll be getting that uh, this week because that looks like a Unob Bods. But first we've got an Andrew Gaff. Oh, just wait, Andrew, just wait, come on. Andrew Gaff, Zach Tui, and then, oh my goodness, I can't believe I've got an Andrew McGrath Odd Bods. Again, cut quite badly. Not great, uh, but Pitch McGrath up in the air with all those pigeons. It is a swaps version. So you can uh, pop his uh, head on somebody else's body and vice versa. Okay, that's, I don't, I'm not sure if we're, we've got the Pitch McGrath in something. I'm not sure if it's the Spotto or the swaps. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that. Now, on, we'll just move you off camera because you are gonna cause all sorts of focus issues. We've got our two packs of NRL Traders. 
And on Sunday morning, I will be opening 10 packs, which I picked up in Geelong. I uh, took a trip down to Geelong on the weekend, very lovely, and uh, popped in at Pop Culture. They were sold out of Footy Star, sold out of Team Coach, but they had NRL traders. So I picked up 10 packs. Uh, we've got Keenan Palacio for the Broncos, Rising Star, and Stephen Crichton, Panthers Pearl. Love the Pearl specials. And yeah, if you watched last week's NRL video, you would have caught a bit of a glimpse of my album, how the inserts are coming along. I think they're looking really nice. I think they're looking really nice. So yeah, what can we find in our 10 pop culture packs on Sunday? We we'll just have to tune in and find out. Now what do we got? Got Jaden Campbell Titans. That is a double. And Adam Dewey, Tigers. Ooh, Tigers. They have had back-to-back -back stunning victories right at the end. So yeah, you would be feeling a lot better uh, right now if you're a Tigers fan. Yeah, the start of the year, but yeah. Tigers are pulling out some incredible wins. My opening in that pack is the opposite of incredible. Uh, but let's see what we can get from our footy stars. We weren't super lucky from our vending machine packs. We've got a Jack Martin purple. Is that? No. And, oh yeah, right. There's one. One insert in those. We have one final pack of footy stars. Let's see what. Come on, I haven't got a Spectrum. I'd love to get a Spectrum. It'd be so, so awesome. It doesn't really matter what team it is. Obviously, I'd love it to be Pyres, but I'll take any team. What's that? Oh, it's just... It's just a Game Breakers. It's funny how sometimes you can just catch the edge and not have any clue what it is and think, oh, is this something incredibly special? We have lots of Mitch's Game Breakers. So that is our cracker packs for this week. There you go, another score centre done and dusted for the week. Of course, keep your eyes peeled for my team coach video Saturday morning, and I will be cracking open up some NRL traders Sunday morning and footy stars on Tuesday, Arvo, before we do the score centre merry-go-round again next Thursday. But until then, stay cool, take care. My name is Dave, this is Scorecard Collectibles, and I can't wait to see you next time.